All right, debutantes, who's ready for the second half of my huge February thrift and secondhand haul? I did amazing, and I think most of it was one thrift store and maybe, well, there was a community garage sale and it was like six different communities, so that was nice. Everything was kind of in the same area, so I found some great stuff. So let me get behind the camera and show you all the things that I got. So you can see I got quite a lot of stuff. I have it all laid out on my dining room table. So why don't we go ahead and start at this end with these three pillows. No, they are not exactly cute or attractive. They are a little beat up, but they were a dollar a piece. And why I bought them is because they are down pillows, which means they are filled with feathers. Now, if you were to buy this pillow insert with the feathers, let's say at Pottery Barn or something like that, it would probably be close to a $40 insert um, so I try to pick up these down pillows whenever possible because I can always make a new cover um, sometimes I will take the zipper out because the zipper obviously is the perfect size and zippers can be expensive so if the zipper is in pretty good shape I'll just take my seam ripper and pull the zipper out and reuse it so I got three of these pillows all from the same garage sale um, I think this one is a little smaller than these two but I think they will be really cute either on a bed, a couch, somewhere. You can never have too many down pillows. As you can see, I have them in my living room. Anyway, so a dollar a piece for those pillows. And really, I got a pillow form and a zipper if you think about it. So then we'll just keep moving on. Now this is a mixture of garage sale stuff and thrift store stuff. Um, this is a cute punch tin lantern. It has a price tag of $1.99 on it, but it was actually a dollar. That color was half off. Um, so when you spin it around, obviously it's for Christmas. It's got cute little Christmas trees on it. You can put a candle in it. Um, you could probably use one of those um, battery operated type candles, but I've always liked this type of folk crafty stuff. So I picked that up. Then I went to a garage sale and the woman, her whole family was moving to Switzerland. What an adventure. Um, but she was getting rid of a lot of her mother's cake decorating items. And these are super high quality, probably from the 50s. Um, these cake pans so I bought this oval cake pan and you can see how nice it's made and then I bought the smaller cake pan which is the same exact size because I think I want to do some type of like tiered tray let's see if I can let's see if I can kind of give you an idea of what I'm thinking about obviously I would not use that candle stick but I want to do something similar to this maybe with a wood dowel or something like that so I think I paid a dollar for both of those if that um, she gave me a really good deal because she liked me I don't know why I think because I told her that I would love her mother's stuff and it wouldn't be like resold I was buying it for my personal use so let me just go ahead and put this back over here so those cake pans then I bought these little tart dishes now there's stacks of these little tart dishes no I'm not going to make tarts I'm not that talented um, but I used like this size and this size at Maureen's wedding for candles. I mean, they looked really pretty with all the rustic touches, but you could use these for like salt and pepper on your dining room table. Each person could get their own salt, their own pepper that they could pinch and put out. You could use these for cute little candy dishes. You could put these next to your sink to hold your rings when you take your rings off. Really, there are so many things that you can do with these little dishes. Um, these little tart pans that I just had to pick them up. I think I paid 50 cents for all of these. Um, these you could put fiber fill in, cover it with fabric and make cute little pin cushions. I mean, you could make Easter baskets with these, tie a little piece of ribbon, put some grass in there and um, you know, some cute little Robin's eggs. Like I said, anything that I can think of more than one use for, yeah, that's got to come home with me. So moving on down the table, I really lucked in to this item. Um, we were in the car on our way to Disney and Maureen was looking at my new um, iPhone 7S and she said, you need one of those things on the back with the ring so you can keep a hold of it. Well, we get home, I went to the thrift store, and there it is, brand new, 49 cents. Um, the back of my phone is gold, it is silver, but it's not that big of a deal. It acts as a kickstand, but you can also remove it, wipe it down, and it re-sticks. So I don't know how much these refit, retail for, but I'm sure it's a whole lot more than 49 cents. So I was very happy to have that. The next thing I picked up is this cute 
basket with these two pots in it. Now, I showed this to my mother and I said, mom, look at this, isn't this cute? And she said, yeah, it's cute. Well, she didn't seem interested in it, so I picked it up to buy it. And she goes, what are you doing with that? I said, I'm buying it. She goes, for me? I said, no, for me. You didn't make a decision fast enough. I think she's still trying to get that from me, but I'm not giving it to her, it's mine. So from the same cake pan woman, I bought this cute chocolate Easter egg mold. This is very vintage, it is very cute. I'm probably gonna set it up, you know, like this to display it on my shelf when I decorate for Easter. It's nice and heavy. Um, I just really, really liked it. Actually, this came from a different garage sale, not this garage sale, it came from this garage sale. Now, if you look at that, you think, that's like a garbage can. It's not. It's actually an old pudding mold from England. You know, and they say, oh, we'll have pudding. Well, they used to make it in here and it would boil. And it's kind of like a bunt pan inside. I take the lid off, but I kind of shoved it on. So chances of me getting it off, not good. But she actually gave this to me. I guess the top was a little warped and she said, oh, you can just have it. And this was the yard chair where I got this milk glass from. I got those two pieces, the tall vases, this little one, the egg thing, and that for $2. I know, let that sink in, milk glass, all of that. Even if I just paid $2 for the three of those, I got a deal, right? So inside is this cute little bunny. I didn't need this bunny, but it's so cute. Look at her little face. So I figured this might be cute with my Easter decor. He's just so cute with his little pink nose. So I think he was 25 cents. Put him back in there. Moving back this way, I found these two candlesticks. They are either terracotta, they're some type of concrete terracotta, whatever. It was $3 for both of those. I'm not gonna leave them that color. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but they're so nice and heavy. You can use them outside, you can use them inside. I had to have them. Then these little mercury glass with the wood, I paid $3 for those, and actually those candles came on top of there. Um, they have a $7 price tag a piece from like Home Goods or Marshalls. So $3 for the pair I thought was a good deal. Not 100% sure what I'm gonna do with those, but I like the way they look and I like the rustic with the elegant touch, so those came home with me. Now we'll just keep moving this way. I love this little red vintage recipe box. When Tony and I first moved here to West Palm, I had canisters that matched these. I had the whole set, they were so cute. Um, so this was 25 cents. I figured I could put my cleaning cards in here or I could put it up on my kitchen shelf for 25 cents. Come on, had to have it. So this fabulous platter, which came from the garage sale that this came from, is a Williams and Sonoma platter, no chips, no nicks, perfect condition. She told it, sold it to me for $1. It's pretty big. I mean, it's not, it's probably a little bit smaller than a turkey platter. So for that price, and it's white, goes with all my white dishes, had to have it. I picked up this Jack Skellington hair bow. I think that was 15 cents. I got these cute little, I guess they're like shrimp forks. I have kind of a project idea for those. They were 50 cents a piece. At a thrift store, I picked up these Pottery Barn turkey candlesticks, see if it will focus. It says $1.99, but they were half off, so I got them for a dollar a piece. They're really heavy, they're really, really nice. Let me put it down, not break my Williams and Sonoma platter. So I was very happy to have those. I don't know what is up with my camera today. I even put my reading glasses on so we wouldn't be out of focus. At a yard sale, I picked up these brand new acrylic Lily Pulitzer wine glasses. You can see right there, it says Lily. It was a dollar for the pair. I do not know what those retail for, but I know Lily is expensive, especially down here in South Florida. Everyone is Lily Pulitzer crazy. I'm not a huge fan of Lily Pulitzer, but those are pretty cute, especially out by my pool or anything girly like that. So for a dollar, I pick those up. One of my most favorite things I found is this painting in the back. It was $3.99 at a thrift store, but it was 15% off. It was a little beat up, had some marks on it, but I just took a magic eraser, some thieves cleaner, 
and it's beautiful and I kind of like the distressed rustic nature of it and that it's not framed. I'm gonna put this in my bedroom and I love it. I cannot wait to hang it up. I picked this little urn thing up that was two dollars. I figured I could put it outside or I could put it with my fall decor, something for two dollars. I really liked it. Then I picked up these cool little red ducks. Now, the back of this, so you see right here, there was a, you know those wire things that curl and hold photos? That came up back here. Of course, I didn't like that. It was $2 for the whole thing. Let me turn them back around. And since you won't see that when I display it, I figured that didn't really matter. Aren't they cute little red ducks for two bucks? So moving on, I bought this bird. You know, I have a thing for birds. I don't like the color of it, but I figured with some of my signature cream spray paint, I could make that look brand new. And I think he was a dollar, if that. Um, so I can't wait to paint him. In the back, I got this galvanized drink tub. It was $3. Now what's nice about this galvanized tub is the outside has a finish on it. It's not, it's real smooth, so it's gonna keep that from rusting because a lot of these tend to rust when you keep water in them. This one is made just for beverages. So for $3, it's fabulous. I picked up a tripod for $2. If any of you film videos, you know how much tripods are. So whenever I find one in pretty good shape, I think this one is brand new. I don't think they ever took it out of the box. Um, $2, I picked that up. Um, I figure I can sell it, I can keep it. It's always nice to have an extra. Um, Tony wants to build me something with my other tripod, so he said he may use it for parts. I don't know, it was $2. Then of course I bought books. Now, usually I buy the older books for display, but I found this Betty Crocker cookbook. And it's a reproduction of the picture cookbook, but when I first got married, the Betty Crocker cookbook saved me. That is where I learned how to boil eggs, how to make a cake, all of the basic cooking that you need to know when you're 18 years old. Um, that's where I learned it. And I don't know why I got rid of my Betty Crocker cookbook, but I bought the, this one and it has all kinds of vintage pictures and it is so cute. I found this green book. It's a Charles Stanley like devotional book. It's got like a faux leather cover and it came with two CDs. I think I paid 75 cents for that. Then that is another, the one next to it, the Beauty Within is also a devotional, but aren't they all pretty together? And then, what was that? I got my reading glasses on so I can't see far away. Coffee Break with God, which is another devotional, but I really like the cover. I thought it was really pretty. Then this, the other one is a Field Guide to the Birds. It's really cool. So, whoops. The outside is really neat, kind of vintage-y, love the color. But then on the back, I noticed it has a measuring tape. So I guess if you see a bird or whatever, you can measure it. I don't know, but isn't that cool on the back of a book? But inside this book are all kinds of illustrations. And I love to frame old things like this. So I really like that. And then right next to it, is this old, I wanna say this is probably from the 60s, Love Poems and Love Letters. I love the vintage cover of this. I thought if I were to decorate for Valentine's Day, this would look cute on my shelf. I just love the vintage feel, so I picked that up. Now, these things on the end are actually like shelving brackets, and I did get those at the thrift store. Let's see if all the books won't come crashing down if I move this out of the way. Sorry about the angle, guys. So this is what it looks like. And you see it's like a shelf bracket. Um, I guess it's from TJ Maxx normally. I thought this was half off. They were $2.99 a piece. I probably would not have purchased them if I was paying attention. Um, I didn't really want to pay $3 a piece. I thought they were $1.50 a piece. But I bought them anyway. And I am actually going to use them exactly how you see them here as bookends. They will not stay this color. Of course, I will paint them more of a creamy color, probably do a little antiquing to make them look a little older. But I really like the way they look with the books. You see how much stuff I got, I can hardly breathe. I bought this cute artichoke. From a distance, I thought it was a pineapple, 
but when I got up close, I saw that it was an artichoke, but I still like it. I think it will look really cute on a shelf as just decor. Then here's just some utilitarian things. I bought three of these baskets. I think they were a dollar. Pretty sure this was um, half off. So I picked those up. I probably wasn't a great deal, but they're in pretty good shape and I happen to need those at the moment. So, okay. Sorry about that, guys. My camera shut off, said my card was full, so I had to delete some things to get back to filming. Um, this is a little car organizer, like a console type of item. Um, she gave it to me for free. She just wanted to get rid of it, and I will keep jumper cables. Um, I carry a blanket. I carry an air pump, um, tools, just in case anything happens in the back of my Yukon. So this will come in handy to keep everything nice and organized. Um, I also got this bag for free, which is not a big deal, but this is a really nice heavyweight bag, you know, to keep in your car for your groceries or library, anything like that. It's not super fancy, but it was free and it will definitely come in handy. So I thought that was very nice of her. Uh, moving on, this little thing is from Tupperware and I believe it is to hold your sauce packets, like your hollandaise sauce, your gravy mix, anything like that. Um, I think this was a dollar and it's kind of cute. It's got little ridged edgings. I thought this would look super nice in my pantry. And last but not least, I picked this item up at a thrift store. It is a Bagalini brand travel bag. It is brand spanking new. Um, it has this pocket. It has a pocket on the top. It's got these nice handles. You open it up. You can see the tissue is still in here. It has a place for makeup brushes, a hook to hang it on the door. This, come, one of these comes up here. Let me see, oh yeah, it's got Velcro. This comes up and has more space for bottles or whatnot. Um, like I said, it was brand new. I went online to try and find the actual retail price of these. Things like this in the Bagalini line were about $60. I paid $2 for this bag. So again, we'll just do a little quick overview of everything that I got. I don't know why it's so yellow all of a sudden, but you can see I got quite the haul. And actually this has all been sitting in my house for like a week piled up. And my husband's like, you gonna do that video soon so we can put all this stuff away? So now that I've done it, I can put it all away. Let me know if you'd like to see a video on how I'm going to distress the two shelving brackets into bookends and I will try to include that. Um, so I hope you like everything I got. Okay, debutantes, I hope you enjoyed this super mega two-part haul. Um, I am going to be super busy with a new venture, and I don't know how much thrifting that I will be able to do. So it's a good thing I got it all out of my system, don't you think? Anyway, thumbs this video up if you liked it. Please comment down below what your favorite item was that I got. And if you want to see a tutorial on any of the things that I talked about, Please subscribe to my channel if you have not. I hope to have some more video content coming soon. I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.